guys, Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and today I'm going to be talking about the Mirasol MEMS display technology. You can see we're outside here in the full, well, cloudy sunlight, and this is just crisp, it's clear, it's beautiful. So this is based on the Mirasol technology, which is uh, kind of like inspired by the butterfly. So you know how butterflies' wings uh, will reflect the light and do full color? Well, Mirasol technology does that. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the odd position that I think that Qualcomm's put themselves in by uh, they're, they're, they're really evangelizing how the, how the tablet market and any book market is, is going to be used. And it's, a, it's an interesting position that I, I never thought I would see a display manufacturer go in, but it makes sense, right? So this, this type of screen technology, right, because it's so low power consumption, I think it's 7.2 watts, um, Pixel Cheese comes in at 2.5, but this is four days longer, I'll, uh, I'll put it at the bottom the exact amount of time, uh, when it comes to video display, right, because it's just a completely different technology. So the way Qualcomm's pushing, as you can see, there's magazines here, right, so this is compatible with a resistive touch screen, so they'll be able to do multi-touch, and they'll be able to touch on ads and interact with them. And Qualcomm really realizes how tablets and ebook readers have failed in the past. Right? They've really understood that you need to launch an ecosystem. You can't launch things on their own because just connecting this to the internet doesn't make for a complete ecosystem and it'll probably fail because tablets have been around for 10 years. This isn't new. Right? What's new is that we need to recognize that media is changing, that Time Magazine, they had 10 million page impressions or unique, yeah, 10, 10 million page impressions and they couldn't make money. Right? So a, a large media conglomerate that doesn't understand what an online business model is, needs to have someone explain it to them. And these large media conglomerates are realizing that they can make that money off of launching dedicated tablets for consuming their information. So they'll be able to put interactive video in, they'll be able to do e-paper, they'll be able to do all these things, and they'll be able to, uh, be able to create an interactive um, advertising ecosystem where they should be able to recoup um, all of that money that they've lost or not even lost, just not been able to understand how to work an online business model. So I'm a little on the fence about whether or not I really support Qualcomm's position about really pushing the large conglomerates like Time and New York Times to you know, have their own dedicated ecosystems because that kind of goes against me and my business model. <laughs> I mean, this year, 2010, is going to be an interesting year for blogging and, and uh, news consumption because we're going to be on the opposite side of conglomerates like this who are going to have dedicated tablets controlling the information, kind of making it a one-way street of consumption. Yes, you can interact, but it's not the way that we do it, the blogging community, where we like to have conversations, we like to interact, and we like to give it to you for free. So, I'm pushing for Android tablets. That's what I'm doing. I'm pushing that this Mirasol technology all of you at Qualcomm, that you should be doing uh, Android tablets because, what, because um, Time Magazine and New York Times, they can create apps that can get, the, get all the information that they need from, from the consumers and um, they'll be able to put it through the Android store. So all the large conglomerates can still you know, create their apps and do all those things on Android tablets rather than kind of creating their own dedicated ecosystem that's going to cost you like $80 a month to, and then you have to buy and subsidize a tablet and everything on top of that. So I mean it's just one of those things that, hey, I'm, a, I'm going on a bit much, but I just really think it's important that everyone recognizes the Android tablet and the important role that this technology can play in pushing that forward. So I'm Nicole Scott from Netbook News talking about Mirasol and Mems.